disappointed disappointed man very 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 disappointed good morning everyone hey welcome back to another video so it is 6:30 in the morning and we are in pur uh i'd come to pur for a couple of days with you my friends uh so staying in hostel uh after a night of partying all are asleep so i thought i'll wake up early and uh, go to mandalpatti uh, there are some nice off roading spot there but i woke up saturday at 6 o'clock and it was shit dark it was pitch dark couldn't see anything and it was completely misty i mean now also i'm driving it around 40 km per hour and this even this seems difficult 6 o'clock when i was riding at 20 km per per hour it seemed very difficult for me because i couldn't see anything on the road like beyond like 10 feet and i heard that these areas uh, are a common uh, i mean place for elephant crossing so even if an elephant is standing right in front of you you will not notice it so what i did is luckily on the way there was a tea shop that was just opening so I stopped at the tea shop had a chai waited for some sunlight to come and now the skies are at least a little bit blue a little less scary now so i thought i'll start and there goes wow <laughs> look at the misty hills the sun's coming up views much better now the fog has lifted Guys, are clear. Road is also clear. Now it says 51 more minutes, 20 kilometers. This is the town of Madikeri. So the place where we are staying right now is near Siddhapura, and from there Mandalpatti. It's around uh, 54 kilometers. It'll take two hours. So now it's just 14 kilometers from here, but it takes 42 minutes. Is what GPS is showing. And the last few listing kilometers are completely off-road. So usually the jeeps here have their own safari. <laughs> they will take you on this off road trail on the jeep at uh, the uh, peak or the view point and i have seen videos where uh, people on bike are going on this trail but you never know this jeep association or the groups can actually stop all other people from going uh, there and uh if you to a point where if you have to go you have to go through the jeep safari only so don't know i'm testing out my luck here i'll go there and see if they allow me i'll try doing the trail if it is too difficult i'll not attempt so as a plan as of now because last time i went on an off road trail the road <laughs> tragedy happened and if you haven't seen that video already i'll leave the link in i button above it was an edicky and because of the kind hearted locals i found on the trail they helped me out otherwise i would have been stuck in the middle of nowhere and that too when the sun was setting so this time i made it a point that i visit early in the morning so if anything happens i have to the entire day to figure things out 
so let's go there and see what will happen if it's an easy trail i'll attempt if it's a difficult trail i'll abandon you never know anyway this is a spot that i've been wanting to go for a very long time now look at this mist man oh i think i think you're driving through a cloud or something <laughs> nearing the sight i see so many jeeps coming so fast the roads are almost non existent when i'm guessing is very crowded up there now on the top just a hit as i had suspected <laughs> shit <laughs> oh man all excitement of offer is gone bikes are not allowed and disappointed by the local authorities i was left with no other option but to walk up to the peak the peak was around 4.6 kilometers from the start of the trail nevertheless the views throughout the trail was amazing since the weather was very pleasant walking up to the peak was not much of a task as i had imagined Once at the top, the view of the Western Ghats from the peak made me forget all the misery of walking almost four and a half kilometers uphill. Luckily I carried a few slices of bread and a bottle of water which came in very handy for the hike back. Man, <laughs> it is so windy out here. So much 
wait. I don't know if the mic is picking up anything or not. Anyways, 4.6 kilometers. I have to climb down all the way down. Uh, it is going to be a task. <laughs> Climbing up was okay. Uh, I mean, after coming here, after having a few slices of bread and water, I'm feeling a little refreshed, recharged. Now I have to walk all the way back to 4.6 kilometers. The sad thing is they didn't allow bike here, man. The trail was not so difficult, it was easy only. A little bit technical but looked easy. Could have done it. But they are not allowing any of the bikes. Government order, it seems, I don't know. Hopefully someday when they open it for bikers, we should come once more. <laughs> this trail is amazing. The view would be great if, if you would have come by bike. It was nice. Uh, Nine o'clock in the morning now. So damn windy, chill, nice. Now I just have to walk back. Good trip. Would have been better if they allowed uh, the off-road trail ride. Nina would have done amazing in that. But let's see. Let's go back. Walking, walking slowly. <laughs> Up here there was a lot of wind so it was cool and chill as I go down it is becoming so much hotter and hotter and there is no wind ah, with all this riding here on top I'm sweating like crazy <laughs> another three kilometers I think all downhill from here let's see this would have been a nice trail to ride what to do, what to do, what to do. Disappointed, disappointed man, very, very, very disappointed. Four and a half kilometers, two and four, nine kilometers I walked. The trail was amazing, like it would have been amazing if they allowed bike. But since November they have stopped it. What I've heard is that there is this lobby of jeepers like jeep owners and uh, jeep drivers and all that stuff and uh, they lobby with the local authorities and uh, to come to a pact that they should allow only jeeps uh, at the top so that they will have business and they will not allow any others I spoke to an official they told this order is just interim, they might remove it and start allowing bikers again, but there is no way to know it. It will come in the local newspaper only, it seems. So, there is no way to know it until you come here and ask around. It's just depressing, man. The entire trip I was looking forward to this only. The entire Three days here spending in poor I was most excited about coming to Mandalpati, going for off-road trails and then getting to go to the peak and all that stuff with Nino. But very 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 disappointing. Luckily Kerala it is still allowed. I mean many off-road places in Kerala like I went to Ulupurni. Ulupurni looks similar like this. I mean the offer trail looks similar and the viewpoint looks similar and their bikes are allowed <laughs> and but if you want to take jeep also local jeeps are available that also is allowed both are allowed so if you want to go, go on your own you can go out take a jeep you can take a jeep this is like bullshit like if you have to go there you have to go in jeep only like they have the complete monopoly over here that's just plain bad that's just plain bullshit I mean, it's not their private property, right? It's a common property. Anybody should be allowed. Oh, 
spotted one. <laughs> you can only rant about it, nothing else. And Jeeps are costly too, it is 200 per head for just a Jeep and 50 rupees for the ticket at the check post. So 250 per head it is. <sighs> tired, dead tired, shit tired, hungry, disappointed, frustrated. Ah, it's okay. Part and parcel of life, right? You will not get everything you expect to get. And my feet, both feet are aching like crazy, walking 9 kilometers on the pebble, stones and all that. Gravel and all. Oh, my soles are on fire. <laughs> I had prepared Nino especially for this. My friend there would have uh, gone for another 2000 kilometers at least, but I changed it a little earlier so that when I come to Mandalpati, I should not skid and fall down. Bolke. I had changed the front tire, did a little bit of surveys, put a new handlebar to try it out off road, everything, so many things planned and nothing happened. It did off road on foot. <laughs> yeah, all these bikers are going, expecting to go to the top one bike and they will be disappointed. Last I have to console myself with all these small small broke control sections. <laughs> watching and I'll enjoy this next two days in Kurg Zastel just chilling and doing nothing before heading back to Bangalore. Other than that, that's it. Nothing much. Hopefully one day when Mandalpati opens for bikers, we should come and visit. Okay, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, everyone, take care. Bye-bye.